Good morning, Sherry and John. Places like Gardens Park here in Summerlin offer a place for bees to pollinate and thrive, but that's not the case everywhere across the valley. Over the last several years, we've seen a decline in bees and heat is only adding to the problem. Now, Raleigh McHughes is a master gardener and Springs Preserve resident bee expert. He says a third of our food supply relies on bees pollination to produce food and a lot of native bee species are dying off. The many reasons include pesticides, habitat destruction, and invasive species. They may be specific to a certain plant they pollinate and that plant is under stress. So if that plant goes away, the bee goes with it. So we have to make sure that if they only have certain plants that they pollinate, we maintain those plants. Some efforts are being made by Nevada lawmakers, including a bill passed that stops the use of some harmful pesticides that went into action this year. The Nevada Department of Wildlife also stepped in and recently added bees and other insects to its state wildlife action plan. But for those at home, you can help by adding more vegetation to your garden that is attractive to bees like clover and other desert flora and avoid pesticides. Now there are some bees to avoid and that's the invasive Africanized bees that are aggressive and can be harmful and dangerous. So make sure to stay away from those. And I also learned this morning that our very own Addison, the man behind the camera here, used to have jumping spiders as a pet, speaking of bugs this morning. We'll be here all morning. We'll send it back to you guys.